This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge. At the siren, all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 hours. All emergency services will be suspended. Your government thanks you for your participation. The first purge was only told by a certain point of view, which was from the rich people in the suburbs. And in this film, you really get to see what the purge is and why it exists. There are these three stories, my story, the two girls, and then the couple. My character wasn't a guy who would purge or kill. I'm not a killer. You can't go out there. You know how dangerous it is. He's got one intent, and that is revenge. I use that to justify my purge. This won't bring him back. It won't make you feel any better. It's late. You need to leave. We're on our way to my sister's house to wait out the purge. Whoa. Our car gets broken down, and we get stranded in the city. It's purge night. Everybody is a little bit frightened, because you never know what can happen, especially for people in our situation. We don't have that much protection, because we can't afford it. What is that? Ava begins as a fairly passive single mother of Callie. But there's this incredible journey that she takes on this night of purge. Just drive, just drive. And then along the way, I pick up a couple of people who are victims of the purge. I'm now dealing with what I have to deal with, which is helping someone. Thank you. Follow me. We each have a story, and eventually those stories become irrelevant, because now we have one story, which is to survive this night. No, 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 get out of the car! No. Hey, you have to go now! Go, go, go! Go, go! It's all about survival, and your priorities get clear very quickly. It's really going to be much more elevated. There's a lot going on dramatically, and more action. As long as we keep moving, we're okay. I just, I'm excited about it. People like us, we don't survive tonight!